Good evening and thanks for keeping a date with us on the program Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria, the program that keeps you abreast with the information you need to know about the Nigeria agricultural sector and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. I'm your guide, Gabriel Ojile. In the wake of the outbreak of the COVID-19 disease, the Nigerian government rolled out a series of measures not only to save lives but also to contain the crippling effect on the nation's economy and the well-being of Nigerians. The responses were both medical and social in nature. The social response by the Nigerian government includes the provision of infrastructure such as the construction of asphaltic roads in mostly rural communities across states in the six geopolitical zones of the country. This is where the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development comes in. The ministry under the rural development component undertook the implementation of these road projects in rural communities across the six geopolitical zones of the country. A review of such projects in the northwest of the country will be our focus in tonight's episode of the program. That will provide the necessary policy direction that will truly position agriculture as the mainstay of our economy. The federal government is removing obstacles and offering opportunities for self-employment, wealth creation and food security in the Nigeria's agricultural sector. Think farming, think agriculture. Watch Transforming Agriculture in Nigeria. The program case starts with news from the agricultural sector. The Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved the construction of a corporate head office for the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Muhammad Mahmoud Abubakar, disclosed this while briefing State House correspondents at the end of the Council meeting, recently presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari at the Council's chamber in the Presidential Villa, Abuja. Abubakar said an initial sum of 6 billion naira would be used to commence the construction of the new headquarters, adding that the proposed office would be a 10-storey building that would be called Agriculture House. Abubakar further stated that the Federal Capital Territory Administration has allocated 1.84 hectares of land for the project in the cadastral zone area of the FCT. The minister explained that the construction became necessary because since the relocation of the ministry to Abuja over 30 years ago, the ministry has not been able to have a head office of its own. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Muhammad Mahmoud Abubakar, has restated that the ministry, in collaboration with other stakeholders, will continue with the implementation of the no vaccination policy for the control of avian influenza, otherwise known as bird flu. He disclosed this during a ministerial press briefing organized by the ministry after receiving a report from the committee set up to look into new ways of containing the disease in the country. The status quo on vaccination policy against HPAI in Nigeria thus remains as such no vaccination against the highly pathogenic avian influenza in Nigeria for now. However, the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development is committed to the control and possible eradication of avian influenza in Nigeria. On this note, we call on the development partners, individuals and organizations to support our cause to fight this disease that is devastating our poultry industry and livelihood of our farmers. The Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved the construction of a corporate head office for the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Muhammad Mahmoud Abubakar, disclosed this while briefing State House correspondents at the end of the Council meeting, recently presided over by President Muhammad Buhari at the Council's chamber in the Presidential Villa, Abuja. Abubakar said an initial sum of 6 billion naira would be used to commence the construction of the new headquarters, adding that the proposed office would be a 10 storey building that would be called Agriculture House. Abubakar further stated that the Federal Capital Territory Administration has allocated 1.84 hectares of land for the project in the cadastral zone area of the FCT. The minister explained that the construction became necessary because since the relocation of the ministry to Abuja over 30 years ago, 
the ministry has not been able to have a head office of its own. As I mentioned at the beginning of the program, part of the federal government's intervention in response to the negative impact of COVID-19 on economic activities is to construct rural routes to increase mobility and access to farm producer markets. A review of the road projects under the intervention in the Northwest Nigeria as implemented by the ministry, as well as the impact on agricultural production and livelihoods of the community will be our focus in our next segment. Keep watching. In the wake of the outbreak of the COVID-19 disease in the country, the federal government rolled out a series of measures to not only save lives, but to also contain the crippling effect of the pandemic on the nation's economy and the well-being of Nigerians. COVID-19 brought what? Brought lockdown. And lockdowns everywhere <laughs> was empty, eh? except markets. Federal government allowed only one particular thing to move freely. And what was that? Food. People could not travel long distances to go and buy food. In other words, we need to see how we can bring food closer to the people. One of the tangible measures taken by the federal government was the provision of infrastructure, such as the construction of asphaltic roads in mostly rural communities across states in the six geopolitical zones of the country. The farmers, the marketers, find it difficult to bring food closer to the people or to the market because of what? Bad road. And what informs this bad road? Talk of the climatic, I mean the climate change. Flooding, erosion. We we'll look at it, if must, if government must have to bring food closer to the people, they have to. B roads, especially these perishable foods like vegetables. So and you know what we know that about sixty to eighty percent of these foods is being produced in the rural areas. So we had to see how we can consider a repairing or call it consulting with rural roads, call it feeder roads to bring the foods. Kaduna, Kano, Katsuna, Jigawa, Kebbi. Sokoto and Zamfara State all benefited from the rural road projects of the ministry. And the following COVID-19 intervention road project we are undertaking in Kaduna State. Construction of 4km asphaltic surface in Gazara Jama'a Road in Makarfi local government, this road has complements such as drainages, coverts, and markings. Another is the construction of 4 km asphaltic surface road in Angwar Wambai, Angwar Doka Day Secondary School, Mayere Road in Makarfi local government. This also has drainages and marking as road complements. Other projects include Construction of 1.5 km asphaltic surface road at Meyeritz Amir Masaw in Makarfi local government. Construction of 1.5 km asphaltic surface road at Ungwar Amaru in Zaria local government. This also has road complements such as markings, drainages, and culverts. Engineer Abdul Aziz Jamilu from the Kaduna State Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development speaks further on this road project. This is 1.5 kilometer asphaltic road, not at road or surface dressing, it's asphaltic. It's comprised of what? Drainages. There is drainage, reinforced drainage, not block drainage as you can see. And with the, this bus culvert, it provides the flow of the water and storm pitches. And including there is road mark for the roads for easy identification of the traveller. Other rural road projects in Kaduna include 4.0 km asphaltic surface road in Nazangi Junction, Luuna Village, Lere. 3.0 km asphaltic surface road at Bukan Village, Kagadama Village, 
of Ombegua Kauru Road in Kauru Local Government. 3.0 km asphaltic surface road in ICCE, Puse Road, Kagaruko. Some members of the communities speak on the benefits of the road projects generally. We have longed for a road like this one, but now that God has brought this development to us, we are grateful and we are also satisfied with all that was done here. Kano State also benefited from the COVID-19 intervention projects with a total of nine projects spread across different communities and local government areas of the state. The projects, which were by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, include a 2.0 km asphaltic road at Gezawa Commodity Exchange Market, Gezawa Local Government, 3 km asphaltic surface, Gezawa Yautarkudu Road, still in Gezawa Local Government, and 3.5 km road at Warawa. Birdi Alitini in Gezawa local government area of Kano State. Because the road leads to three local governments in Kano States, which are Warawa, Dawakinkudu, and Gezawa. It also leads to Haeja and Maiduguri. Other road projects done in Kano under the COVID 19 intervention projects are 2 km asphaltic road from Dawano to Ngugua in Dawano local government. 3.5 km asphaltic road Kabo at Gano Road in Kabo local government. 3 km asphaltic road in Janguza Lengel Road in Tofa local government area. This road, despite being a rural road, has road complements such as marking, while it also has drainages on both sides. Turakin Rano Streets in Rano Local Government Area, Wudil Indabo Garko in Wudil Garko Local Government, and Dogua in Dogua Local Government Area all had road constructions under the COVID 19 interventions. Some members of the benefiting communities speak on the benefits the road projects have brought to their communities and businesses. <laughs> Our suffering was so much in the past, both in rainy and dry seasons. Moving our farm products to the market was a herculean tax at the time. But with this road now, our problems are solved. Even with the rains now falling, we are having good harvest. The Kano State Director of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Dr. Abbagana Yamani, speaks further on the intervention project done in the state and the reasons behind the choice of projects. Uh, the road projects, you see, conveying agricultural produce from the f villages where the farm activities is going, always creates problems to the farmers, mm -hmm. and it also added cost to the produce that is delivered to the consumers. So that makes the ministry took a decision to construct a road linking the villages with the major cities. Katsuna State also had her share of the intervention project by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The following are some of the road projects undertaken by the Ministry. 3.5 km asphaltic road at Kwanariyamadawa Rivi in Dawra local government. 1.0 km asphaltic road at Rivi Sukunawa in Dawra local government. Engineer Mohammed Bishir, an engineer from the Katsina State Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, speaks further on this road project. Uh, this road is 1.0 km road, uh, asphaltic road, and Sukwanawa, uh, uh, local government, Katsina State. Uh, the road uh, consists of, uh, we have 200 meter drainage 
and we have about four to five uh, single ring uh, culverts. It has its farmers and the community as well. Another project is the one kilometer asphaltic road from Tanyama to Tsabu in Mayadua local government. 1.5 kilometer road at Maitirimi in Mayadua local government. As well as a one kilometer road in Anghaku Tilla Road, still in Mayadua local government. Construction of 2.5 kilometer asphaltic road at Tashar Tanyada, Makiawa, Madaka in Zango local government. Beneficiaries of the project speak on the impacts of the project in the communities. Transportation activities and businesses have sprung up with the advent of this route. Following the construction of this road, we are witnessing development beyond our expectation. We never thought it would be this quick. It used to be a very bad road. The COVID-19 intervention road projects are 11 in Kebbi State. They include 3.5 asphaltic surface Alheri Hotel, Sarkin Rikoto, Garing Road in Zuru local government area. A member of the benefiting community speaks on the benefit of the road to their community. Alaska is very beneficiary too much, not so much in they do for inside our area. Because before they do this area, during the rainy season, this area is not compensated to be this area, to, to pass this area. But as far as they are trying to pull this quota, uh, we very, very appreciate for the government and the person where do this for road for us. Another is the construction of 3.5 kilometer asphaltic surface, Kalgo Post Office, Owando Filling Station, Ungwer Naaba, Poultry Farm Link Road, in Burning Kebbi local government. The road project was ongoing as at the time of visit. Engineer Malami Umar Farouk from Kebbi State Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development speaks on the road project. I'll go near Force Road and we are at the end of this road and this road we have done the, the artwork and we have done the framing. So what we are waiting for now is the asphalt. And this road we have two culverts. We have done the two culverts, and what remains is the side drainage. And before, we, before coming to this location, the road is 3.5 kilometers, separated along uh, three, uh, seven locations. So the first location we visited, they have done the asphalt work, and they have, done, they have finished the, the artwork and the culverts. So what remains is the uh, framing. The State Director of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Kebbi State, Engineer Abdullahi Shehu, speaks on the choice of the project and the benefits to the communities. And uh, in the state, it is not everywhere state government can cover. Although Kebbi State Government has done a lot in road infrastructure. Where you have good roads, and these are not art roads, they are asphalt roads. You know how important it is? The community, they keep on praying to the facilitator, also to the federal government, for recognizing them having this project in their sites. From the testimonies of members of benefiting communities and other stakeholders, it is obvious that this intervention project undertaken by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development have enormous impacts on the social economic well-being of the people. This project will go a long way in improving food production and standards of living as well as address the problem and challenges of rural urban migration. The program is transforming agriculture in Nigeria and we just reviewed the rural road projects carried out in Kaduna, Kano, Katsina and Kebi states by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development under the COVID-19 social intervention projects. Jigawa, Sokoto and Zamfara states also had similar rural road projects with great impact on residents, farmers and livelihoods. Let us have a recap of the projects and their impact on rural dwellers in those states. Keep watching.
Jigawa State is another state in the northwest region of Nigeria. The intervention projects carried out in the state by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development are construction of 3-kilometer asphaltic road at Masanya Tukuda in Birnum Kudu local government, Engineer Sali Salisu from Jigawa State Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development speaks further on this road. Now this project is one of the few projects, this is the first project we take in asphalt in Jigawa State. It's only a three, three kilometer road, but the road is very, very important because it links the producers of food crops, markets, and even the buyers. So the people are very happy. Some members of the benefiting community also speak on the benefits of the road project to their community and businesses. First, this road was so bad. We experienced a lot of challenges daily. It was fraught with motorcycle accidents, while traders suffered a great deal to move to the market. The state coordinator and assistant director of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Jigawa State, Alhaji Mustafa Ibrahim Anka, speaks on the choice of locations for the intervention projects. This rural development, uh, you know, is just aimed at uh, making uh, rural areas accessible to farmers and they will be able to, you know, transport their produce uh, in and out. Sokota State, just like every other state in the Northwest region, also has the intervention projects by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The projects are a 3.5km asphaltic surface at Dogondaji Township Road in Tambua local government. Engineer Bafashi Mohammed, the head of engineering department of the State Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, speaks on the road project. This road uh, was uh, given to Dogondaji community it's 3.5 kilometer in all, and uh, it is having uh, 13 culverts, ring culverts that are situated in different locations. It is also having uh, drainages in order to ease the passage of water. That they are having a lot of problem of water during wet season, so they were given uh, 600 meters of drainage, and uh, the road. The 3.5 kilometer road was split into eight different locations in Dogondaji uh, town. Some members of the benefiting communities speak on the impact of the roads to their communities. We appreciate how the work, how the work was done because when there was no this work, if the during rainy season, the water flooded and erased all the particles that on the road. Then due to Due to it, people and blind, blind people used to have problem of coming across stones or oh, children used to, when they are running, they will come across stones, they will fall and... The COVID-19 intervention road projects undertaken in Zamfara State are one kilometer asphaltic surface at Gusau Karazau Road in Gusau local government. 2.5 kilometer asphaltic surface at Karazau Kauyan Jama'a Road in Gusau local government. Engineer Biliaminu Ahmed from Zamfara State's Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development speaks further on this road project. It is the beginning of the one kilometer road. The kilometer consists of coal beds and the enforcement drainage, as you can see, 400 meters reinforcement, concrete drain. Some members of the benefiting community speak on the importance of the roads to them. We are 100% happy now that this road is done. The way we followed this road before was very hard. Whenever you carry somebody on a bike, you may likely fall down due to the state of the road. There are similar projects across other geopolitical zones of the country under the purview of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, and we shall remind you of them in our subsequent reviews. And keep a date with us next week, same time, same station. 
I'm Gabriel Ujile. I'm bye for now.